Grade 5, Module 4. This is Lesson 11 and 12. They both have the same objective, which is to solve and create fraction word problems involving addition, subtraction, and multiplication. These two lessons cover standards 50A1, 50A2, 5NF4A, 5NF6. Problem 1 of the homework from Lesson 11 reads, Jenny's mom says that she has an hour before it's bedtime. Jenny spends three-fifths of the hour texting a friend and three-eighths of the remaining time brushing her teeth and putting on her pajamas. She spends the rest of the time reading her book. How long did Jenny read? So I just took some notes on what I thought were the important facts in, in this word problem. She has one hour before bedtime. Three fifths of the hour was spent texting. Three eighths of the remaining time was spent brushing her teeth and putting on her pajamas. And they want to know how much time did she spend reading. So the first thing I want to find out is, well, how much time did she actually spend texting? So it says three fifths of the hour. So I'm going to write three fifths. And how long is an hour? 60 minutes. Now I can rewrite this. 3 times 60 over 5. Now ask yourself, can you cross simplify? Is there anything on the bottom floor, the denominator, and the top floor, the numerator, is there any um, factors that they have in common? Well, I, can, I know that 5 goes into both 5 and 60. 5 goes into 5 one time, 5 goes into 60 12 times. I can multiply across now. 3 times 12 is 36 over 1, which is equal to 36. So 3 fifths of an hour texting is equal to 36 minutes. So I would say this is my step 1. Step 2. 3 eighths of the remaining time brushing her teeth and putting on pajamas. So I have to first figure out how much time is remaining. I started off with 60 minutes in one hour and I've already spent 36 of those minutes texting. So let's subtract. You can't do 0 take away 6 so I need to borrow. 10 take away 6 is 4. 5 take away 3 is 24. So I have 3 eighths of 24. And that of you can replace with a multiplication sign. So 3 times 24. And why is it 24? Because this 24 is really a 24 over 1. You could write it either way. But I know that 8 times 1 gives me 8, so I just keep the one number down there. And ask yourself, is there any number that the 8 and 24 have in common? Any factors? Yes. 8 goes into both 8 and 24. 8 goes into 8 one time. 8 goes into 24 three times. If I multiply across, 3 times 3 is 9 over 1, which is equal to 9. So I know that she spent 3 eighths of the rem remaining time would be 9 minutes. And I'm just running out of room, so let me make some room down here. My next step is to figure out how much time she spent reading. Step three. Well, I know she's already spent 36 minutes texting and nine minutes brushing her teeth and putting on pajamas. So altogether, 36 plus nine equals 45 minutes. How much is left? She's already spent the 45 minutes texting and brushing her teeth. So let's go back to the hour and take away what we are, what she's already spent, 60, take away 45. Again, we need to borrow from our neighbor. 10 take away 5 is 5. 5 take away 4 is 1. So how much time did she spend reading? She spent 15 minutes reading.